Welcome to RaiGurukul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about existing array in NumPy and their operation. So, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with practical demo and the basic understanding of NumPy array, existing array. So, in NumPy, all the items of NA an array are data types, objects that are also known as NumPy data types. The data types object is used to implement the fixed size of memory corresponding to an array. It mainly provides us the information about integer, float, or Python object. It gives us information about the size of data. It tells us about the byte order that is little Indian or big Indian. In the case of structured type, it tells us about the name of fields, the data types of each field and the part of memory block taken by each field. In this case, if the data type is an subarray, it tells us about its shape and data type. So let's understand how we'll work it. Whenever we are working with this object, numpy dt type objects are performed using object alignment and copy operations. The numpy library mainly provides a higher range of numeric data types than that provided by Python. So with example, we'll see here how to present it. So whenever dt type in numpy box it always start with integer or it always contains integer boolean unsigned integer and float you can also check with complex flow time delta data time object string unicode string and the fixed chunk of memory of other types that is void so let's run the code for numpy so whenever we are importing a numpy library we have to use numpy that is import numpy and alias name we are always using np you can use it your own as well so array we are giving here as a name or equal to np dot array and inside this, you can provide multiple operation which you are looking for. So right now, I'm giving here as chair, chair, fridge, I'm giving here a single quote because it's string, fridge, then, uh, Set this comma. Sorry. Then laptop. You can also provide any value which you are looking to print it. So now perform the print operation. Inside the print operation, we are giving here as a error dot dt type if you will print it you will get the type of object which you are giving now here we have declared with triple r because of that it was showing error and now you can see here the data is u6 or you will get it u8 that is unique now let's perform this operation in the simple example when we are printing data type object it is important to note here that data type object is mainly an instance of numpy by data type class and it can also be created using numpy by data type function so let's run here it's almost seen but just if i want to print it and p dot in the 64 i will get some other value like np dot 
dt type type inside the bracket and p dot int 64 and when i'm printing this value i will get something else now you can see i got integer 64 instead of using integer 8 integer 16 integer 34 integer 64 usually the simpler representation using string i1 i2 i3 and i4 can also be used so if you will change it to here as a integer value i3 it will get some other value like it will print integer we are getting some error because and p dt type and the value i provided here as a let's run this again p is i 4 now you can see i got integer 32 value so example when we are working with any structured data type and then apply it into nd array object we'll get some other value we can also change the data type whenever we are working with complex attributes just like if you have provided uh, the data type as integer we can change it to float integer by using integer as a parameter value so let's uh, change the value here like if i have declared the array 2.1 comma 3.2 comma 4.3 now if i want to make a different array with other name new a like equal to a triple r a dot a s type we will use it es type will we we will use it and then we can declare the value int and when i am printing this value as new array as new a we will get some other result now you can see will get the value new a as type integer we have provided here oh sorry here we have to provide the name as array now let's run this well definitely Now you can see here we have got the response 234 because we have converted the value into integer. So this is how we will work with an existing array which we are already using in our numpy python program. That's all about performing an operation in numpy existing array. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this you should consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching